So this is Jim, Sip and Feast. We're going to make balsamic mushrooms. They look like this. They are so good. I use big portobello, see how big those are? Nice slices of them. And then I use baby bellas. Uh, but you could use any mushroom you want. Let's go take a look at the in other ingredients right now. These are baby bellas. This guy's close to being a real bella soon. So we got olive oil, we got balsamic vinegar, we got butter, we got parsley. Right, so let's go to these mushrooms. You could use any mushroom you want. I like portobellos. I think they have a little bit better flavor than you know your regular white butter mushroom. Whatever's good in the store, that's what you should be getting that day. All right, this is slightly damp, so it's you know almost dry. You could also use a brush. They actually have mushroom brushes. Now I cleaned them already for the most part. There's a little bit of dirt right there, but you know if you want to go nuts, you know get a microscope out and get all the dirt off. I didn't clean the adult portobellos. Let's go over here. You can remove the gills if you desire to. I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm just going to take the back of the spoon and I'm gonna be able to remove these gills. Now you don't have to remove them all. You don't have to be. When I, you know, when I did this for the stuffed portobellos, it was more, it was more critical to, to really hold the edge here, like with the back of my fingers, like I'm doing, so I don't, so I don't cut the edge because I, want, I wanted a nice big cavity to put my stuffing in. But for this dish, it's more I'm just removing them because I think it looks nice at the end when the mushrooms, how I'm gonna cut them and how they're sauteed. You know, the gills on a full portobello are, you know, they're fully developed, they're really big here. You know, the gills on, and this is the biggest baby I have, you know, they're just starting to, uh, you know, they're just starting to come out. But for the most part, on the smaller ones, you won't even, you know, you won't even see them. And I'm just gonna take roughly quarter inch Maybe three sixteenths, but you know who's who's really counting. That's too fat. That one. I have to cut that one. All right. Okay. With regular baby bellas, mushrooms. These are cut right here, right at the end. So those ends can get a little hard, a little brittle. I like to just remove them. Now you don't have to do it on every one. Sometimes you'll look at them and they'll look better than others, but a lot of times the end will be quite woody. It's worth it to just take that off. Nice parsley for the end. Hey, if you don't like parsley, don't use it. I use a ton of parsley. You'll see, you know, you go to my other videos, it's like I'm always chopping parsley, but Okay, just a touch of oil. And it's tempting to put a lot of mushrooms in there because it won't take you as long, but. They'll make like a noise, like a dry, like sponge noise almost when they, when you cook them. They released most of their water. Okay, I'm gonna pull them off and I'm gonna go on to the next batch. Those off and then let's get the other ones in. I think we can probably, yeah, I think we can get all these in, we'll see. Touch of oil. Some people add salt in to accelerate the water release process. A lot of people say not to do that. Seen different advice from most different chefs, big time chefs. So I think it works either way. See how nice and brown they're getting. I'm gonna add in the big ones back with it. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat real low. Turn my heat off for like two minutes just to let the pan cool down a little bit. I'm gonna add my butter in. Okay, you don't need a lot of butter. I'm putting two tablespoons in, it might be too much. Maybe even one tablespoon would be enough. Right at the end, we'll season them with the salt and pepper. Bye, Bye James. Love you. Love you, buddy. Okay, so they absorb the butter and I'm gonna add balsamic in. And you can just smell it. It's just, ooh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna turn my heat back to medium just to cook out this vinegar and let it absorb it. I'm telling you, these are the best mushrooms. Okay, salt, parsley. There are the balsamic mushrooms. They are super delicious. Only five ingredients in that one. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know the next recipe that you want me to make. You know, I'll be sure to put it on the list. And until next time, see ya.